Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. It's time once again for another depressing dose of Dismal Disney. Star Wars is a mess right now, as is Lucasfilm, apparently. And guess who is at the center of that? None other than Kathleen (laughs) Kennedy. So that really shouldn't be a shock to anybody. This headline reads, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, and Kathleen Kennedy are really struggling to figure out the franchise's movie future. (laughs) A new report has shed some light on what's happening with the Star Wars franchise on the big screen. And it sounds like (laughs) Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy is ruffling a lot of feathers with her decisions. Yes, I'm not surprised by this. She has done so much damage, not only to Star Wars, but Lucasfilm itself. The media has finally started to catch up on the truth of what's really been going on there. While Avatar The Way of Water is on the horizon, we're about to enter another holiday season without Star Wars. Those movies arriving in theaters in time for Christmas had become something of a staple for the franchise since Disney took charge. But the last time we took a trip to this galaxy far, far away on the big screen was way back in December of 2019. Yes, three years ago. Since then, it's become apparent that Lucasfilm is struggling to figure out where to take Star Wars next. Patty Jenkins touted Rogue Squadron in a splashy promo video, only for the project to fall apart with no official word as to why. (laughs) Yes, and I covered that in a previous video. Widely touted trilogies from Ruin Johnson and the Game of Thrones showrunners have also failed to materialize. So what's the problem? According to Puck, it's Lucasfilm (laughs) president Kathleen Kennedy. And anything that's wrong with Star Wars, yeah, you can pretty much point the fingers at Kathleen Kennedy. That's a fact. They explain that the soonest we'll see another Star Wars movie is 2025. And even that's not guaranteed at this stage. It's likely to be the project from Damon Lindelof and Charmaine Obey Chinoy we recently learned about, though nothing has been officially greenlit at this stage. In fact, Disney has even advised Kennedy to stop (laughs) announcing projects and creative partners, lest the ravenous nerd press pounce when those projects don't actually happen, as is the case frequently at Lucasfilm. It would be interesting to sit down and list out all of the projects promised by Kathleen Kennedy only to never happen. Insiders explain that, quote, a culture of fear and indecision around the next installment, unquote, is a major issue, especially with Lucasfilm determined to get the next movie right after the disaster that was the rise of Palpatine. I'm so glad to see that even the press is acknowledging that Episode Nine: The Rise of Palpatine was a piece of garbage. Finally, the truth is beginning to come out. It's only taken three years. Kennedy wants the next movie to be good. You mean because the trilogy was terrible? Apparently, yes, that's the truth. Kennedy wants the next movie to be good, different from what we see on Disney+, Plus, but also kind of the same, and steered away from fan service. However, it still needs to be rooted in what fans love about Star Wars, and the Lucasfilm president is asking an awful lot from her collaborators. It sounds like the studio is in something of a mess. Really? With many now wondering if Kennedy is the right person to continue steering the ship. Well, I have been saying for the past couple of years that the best possible thing for Lucasfilm would be to get Kathleen Kennedy out of there. She has done more damage to Lucasfilm and the Star Wars brand than anybody else. She is the one who put George R. Abrams in charge of The Force Awakens 
and the rise of Palpatine, and Ruin Johnson in charge of The Last Jedi. And ultimately, that entire trilogy is a disconnected, confused piece of crap that in the end goes absolutely nowhere. It is truly the worst three films that have ever come from that franchise. So I'm very happy to see that somebody is finally beginning to acknowledge it in the press. <laughs> this should have been coming out a long time ago. Something needs to be done at Lucasfilm, and their best choice would be to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> And I think the fact that Disney told her not to make any more official announcements about potential upcoming projects is a fairly good indication that the relationship between herself and Disney isn't doing too good right now. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.